Hello friends welcome to this Laravel tutorial today i will show you how to show the stored records in tabular format using data table and ajax in laravel 8 so for this we have to follow these three steps the first steps we have to create routes second step in the controller we have to implement the function and the third step we have to create views where we import the data table library js file and css file so let's start to create routes we have to come here web.php and we create these two routes in earlier video i was using the same route for add but right now i change it here for add employee slash add actually this is the actual structure so on the root route or on the employee route we just show the list of employees and on the employee slash add route we will show the form of employee add and on the post method we will store into the database right so there is no confusion on the employee route or uh, we will show the list of employee in tabular format so this two uh, method get and post the first one will load the view and second one will call the ajax you ajax function so get the data from database right so this is the web the second one is implement the function so here you can see on the index functions we returning the view on so functions are uh, we returning the um, response or value so here in the controller you can see in the index we are returning employee dot index in the create we are returning right now employee dot add because here we change you can see here here create right so here employee dot index uh, we are returning on the index function and here on the so functions we are taking the object of request class we maintain one array we declare here rules and pass it to the validator check if any validation error or not if no validation error we take all the values like draw start int all the values which are coming from the data table uh, and here we are running one query on employee models already this employee model imported here and you can see i am selecting id first name last name city name email and this is the where query is a just look like a call back here so on search on search of first name last name email and city this will also execute and return the data i am also using the order by skip tick this order by is order by for sorting this is skip and limit for the start and uh, length how many records will render and the final get method will re return all the records here this will get the total count on the on that table and if any search the total filter will be changed and finally we create here array and put the draw data record totals and records filtered and returned here in the response object right so this is very simple in the controller you can see easily right now uh, we have to come on the third steps to create a view so for create a view <coughs> here in the index.blade.php which is here in the employee uh, this is very simple we are just extending the layout layout.app in this layout.app this is here i am importing here the data table library this is for the css and here the data table jquery data table min.js and this is the data table bootstrap 4 min.js right so here we can access it easily so you can see here i use uh, this line is important to send the token because token is required every time and uh, this is the table i created the example id is example and uh, this is the header this is the first row id first name last name email action and here i create one function 
data table this is the default parameter if required i will send here otherwise it's not required for this example and uh, <coughs> okay this line is also not required so just comment it out and here uh, on example i am initializing the data table this is the structure and uh, we are passing the employee url on post method if any extra argument extra um, value we have to pass we can mention like that and this is the columns we are expecting id first name last name email uh, city name and email and the last one is uh, for showing the action so see here the action i mention one extra column which holds the button for edit and delete right so this is for edit icon and this is for delete icon right so for edit i am using just employee slash edit you can see and for delete we will use this model and uh, for confirmation but this um, i will make uh, another video um, for edit and delete okay right now we are just showing here and on the ready functions and just calling the data table right so this is also very simple and very easy here uh so yeah our steps are completed now we check on the browser how it's working so come to the browser yeah this is here okay let me open the inspector tools so we can check okay now i am going to refresh the page see the this is loading and now this is the processing i don't know what's happening something went wrong okay so here selected status is not defined actually i comment out it here okay i i think i am using anywhere okay i am using here on the button that's why it's for showing error but no problem i am just uncommented it and refresh one so now see the records are coming in the tabular format right so <coughs> uh, it's already sorted uh, from last to first so this is all in the decreasing uh, order so the last id coming on the first but we can sort from first to last we can also sort first name last name city name email right they all are working fine see you can see here the edited delete button right here you can see so one to five of five entries here the search is also, will also work like suppose i search sunita see the coming we can also search on a city name like chennai see coming we can search on delhi see coming so search will work like that this sorting is like that here everything also we suppose we can search like delhi see showing one to two of two entries total two entries uh, on the database for this delhi and showing all and filtered from five total entries so total record was five and filtered to two right so this is uh, looking very fine and also this is uh, looking good but here on each key press we are calling apis or we are calling ajax functions you can see how many employees we call right so this is very fine this is very good uh, here i added one more and let's check so yeah see the form is coming suppose i have to add rajesh name is not required email rajesh at the rate of gmail.com the city something mumbai save okay so data saved successfully if i check here okay see the rajesh is coming one one thing we can do here in the add.blade.php just comment this line and open this one save here the url is employed now come here add and add something like uh, uh, take any name no problem like uh, neeraj kumar 
email id is neeraj gmail dot com delhi chennai same so see now it's redirecting and this is also coming right so this is very nice very cool here showing one to seven if it passes to ten automatically this will come because on every request we are sending the length of ten right you can see here in the network tab in the header we are passing here the length 10 right so if the number of record more than 10 the pagination is will come right so this is all about how to show the stored record in tabular format with data table uh, in the next video i will talk about the edit part and delete part uh, you just subscribe our channel youtube channel and also you can visit our website to get the latest code and latest video here so thank you thank you for that